organizing your daily tasks on Notion. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Alicia and today I'm sharing with you a new template that I've made on Notion and I'm so excited to share it with you. I've been testing it out for over a month now, like a couple weeks and I think I've got it down pat. I have customized this fully myself. It's going to help you guys organize your weeks, organize your days to the T. If you haven't already seen my previous Notion videos, I'll leave them linked in the information card. This side. Huh? I'm gonna say this side, but in those videos, I give you a course overview template where you can organize all your notes for your classes and stuff. So this one's going to be primarily like more agenda style, like how I organize my day-to-day -day tasks that I have to do. Something that I kind of emphasized in my last Notion video was having a system in place. So this video and this template sort of emphasizes that a bit more. If that doesn't make sense, then don't worry, I'll be explaining it in the video. Also leave the template in the description for you guys to duplicate and use and also I want to kindly thank Notion for sponsoring this video you guys know Notion is like the best thing ever if you're trying to get into digital organization and just trying to set things up like right now with uni still being online I basically moved all my notes and stuff online primarily like 95% using digital means to do my work so if you want to you can use the link down below to sign up and let's get into the template So I'm just going to walk through how I set it up. I usually do this on a Sunday night, but I have so much work to catch up on because I've been doing my assignments. I've like kind of neglected half my lectures. So we're going to do it now so I can just see what we have to do. Mm. I like just my coffee so bad. So this is my setup. It's got a very original name. It's called To Do. <laughs> So what I'm going to show you about this template is it does look very complicated. Most of this you can just copy and duplicate, but the blank template I've added in here, you'll need to adapt to however you go about your revision, go about your week to week tasks at school, like uni, whatever you're organizing for. If we go onto the page, on the first thing you'll see, what I've done is I've changed the cover and also the icon just like any other notion workspace and I've called this one to do because I'm really original at names as you can see. And then at the top here I've just added this little quote thing that changes the font. So I've written this week and then I've just changed it. So now I'm in week 12 so I've added week 12 there. On this little dashboard I've got a bunch of different things. So first one is important. So what I'll do here is I usually put in any assessments that I have. So what I'll do is I'll check my assessment tracker. This I'll make like before uni even starts. So I know what's coming up that week. So we're in week 12 now. So I have a physiology presentation due and then a problem set for logic. So I'm gonna add those in now. I don't usually write the months of the due date just because I kind of know what one we're in. Okay, so then under today, what I'll do is I usually just write whatever day we're in so I know that this to-do list is for that day. And then on here, I'll put my to-do list. So this is my very specific to-do list for the day. Like if I plan out like my time, so I'll say like if I have class from eight to nine and then from nine to 10, I'll have like breakfast. 10 to 11, I might have another class. So it's kind of just scheduled to like specific time points in tomorrow. This is just stuff that randomly comes in at the top of my head that I'm like, I have to do that tomorrow or just random tasks that you want to get done like quickly or the note it down. That's just random weekly things. So if I have maybe a meeting at a specific time of the week or if I have this task that I need to complete, like if I need to edit a video, then I'll put it there. I'm someone who like uses their note app and I literally just like start typing around things that come into my head that I don't want to forget. So 
by putting it here it kind of just puts it all into one space and makes it a bit more organized without having a million different notes pages with random to do lists on them so that's pretty much the the dashboard but if we scroll down we'll see i have a bunch of templates so these are actually all the same pages i've just duplicated them so under the blank template what i have is a weekly table so on the week here you can add in the week you're in so if it's like week 12 and then on the left hand side I've got my subjects so I'm doing four subjects at the moment I've just given each one a color and usually that color is like aligns with whatever color my folders are just because I'm weird really like that and like to do that I'll put in whatever tasks that I have to do related to that subject like on a normal week that's given I don't have any assessments like for histology for example I always do my lecture notes the lecture recording I have to watch and then I'll also do my active recall question and answers. So that's what I do for every single lecture and then for every single prac I'll watch the prac video, I'll write my prac notes and I'll do the prac questions and the quiz at the end of it. So that's like sort of something that stays consistent throughout each week as we're going through the content. So I put that in my blank template. The only thing I've written here in my blank template is where the lecture number is. I just put a hashtag for the moment because when I start to set it up on the Sunday night then I'll add in the number that I have to complete that week. So this just really helps me to stay on track with what I have to do for uni because something I found with having online uni is there's so much stuff everywhere and it's like hard to stay on track with what you're meant to be doing for that week. So by doing this it just helps with that and makes things easier and it kind of gives you some reassurance that you've finished what you have to do for that week. I'll just go and do the same thing for each of my other subjects but as you can see, it kind of differs depending on what subject it is. Logic, for example, I'll make sure I have to do my tutorial notes and then like exercise questions from the textbook. So see how that's kind of different to the histology one I was talking about. It's kind of all the similar with the lecture notes and stuff like that, but the way they run their tutorials will depend on what mode of revision or studying that I have to do for that week. When I set this up ages ago, I put in a bunch of past weeks, so I just duplicated the blank template. You can see, for example, in week seven, this was an example one I filled out. My subject, the task, and then the date, and then whether I completed it or not. And then on this column here, you can add a little note section if you want to write specific details about the task that you have to complete. So I'm going to actually do the week 12 one here with you now so you can see. But all you have to do is with the blank template, just copy this and you can press move to. So if you move it into your to do page, it should come up at the bottom here. Yeah. And then all you have to do is drag it into this little space that I've made here for it. And then I have all my tasks here. Hopefully it kind of makes sense now, but what I do is I just fill out the numbers of the specific lectures that I need to do for that week for that subject. So I'll just delete where the hashtag was and fill out the necessary information. You can see here I'm checking back on my notes a couple times because I wasn't sure what lecture we were up to. So once I've done that, that's kind of the standard minimum that I have to do for that week in terms of lecture notes and tutorial notes but again it's going to differ every week depending on if you have assessments or if you have to do revision for an upcoming exam so if you need to add that stuff in all you have to do is press the plus button on the left hand side and you can add rows to your table and fill out the specific tasks that you want to do for each subject. What I do in the next column is I've allocated dates so it can be difficult to plan like a whole week in advance but the way I usually do it is I'll just do the notes and the relevant like active recall flashcards or whatever on the same day as whenever the lecture was delivered so that kind of gives me a good guideline if I use my timetable to allocate work for each subject but again this is going to depend on a whole bunch of things on like your work schedule or events and stuff like that so just be wary of those things but if you sort of work around your uni timetable that kind of gave me the best indication and then here's where we get fancy this is like peak organization all you have to do is go to the top right hand corner of the table and then you can filter the way it's organized so i always sort it by date in ascending order and then that just allows me to sort of get a gauge of how much work i need to do on each day to complete all of those tasks and work around my uni timetable. So now we're onto the last part that you just have to do 
at the beginning of each morning or you can do it the night before and that is create your to-do list for the next day. What I do is I just go to my table to the relevant date. So say for example, the Monday was the 16th of November. So I just went to every single task that said 16th of November. It should be pretty easy to find because it's, it's in order. You can just highlight those tasks, copy and paste it to your to-do list and then just allocate whatever time you want to do them at. And then you basically have your to-do list set for each day of the week. So that's pretty much the beauty of using this template. It sorts it out per day and it's one less thing to worry about. So whilst this is a template that you can use as a foundation, you need to do what works best for you. So you can customize this to however you want. If you need to add extra columns, you can press the plus button. You can maybe add more checkboxes. If you have like specific information you need to write down, you can put that in a different column. So don't think that you just have to follow exactly the way I use it. You can use that as a starting point and then customize it to fit whatever you're working on. Another thing you can do that is pretty cool is you can link the pages together. So for example, if I need to do lecture notes for lecture 34, I just type the app button and then I'll start typing the name of that lecture. It should come up if you have another page in like your subject one. And then all you have to do is if you click the name on the table, it'll direct you straight to your subject page where you can write your notes there. As you can see here for lecture 21 for neuroanatomy, if I click it, there's all my active recall flashcards and answers and it's really easy to navigate. So that was pretty much an overview of how I use my Notion daily agenda template, whatever you want to call it. It does seem like a lot and that's just because I'm coming towards the end of my uni semester so there's a lot of work like I have to prepare for exams and also these are pretty content heavy subjects so that's the only reason why there's looks like there's so much but I find that since I've been doing this it's helped me to just stay on track especially with like having to deal with online platforms and not having live lectures for every single one it can be hard to fall behind or just forget that you have lectures to do if you do use my template do let me know in the comments or tag me on instagram at study collab and I would love to see how you're using the template. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, but I do keep it as a separate page and then I just favorite it on the sidebar so it's easily accessed. And then I do have my separate subject pages where I keep my notes that I showed in my first Notion video. But that's pretty much everything. If you have more questions or need more clarifying, let me know in the comments and I will try and follow up. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel down below. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.